In today's episode, we'll be announcing our Black Friday event and bringing you some cool development news. We'll also be updating you on the latest esports action. Keep watching! Hello, tankers! November is almost out of the door, and that means Black Friday is upon us. Of course, we're keeping up the tradition, so we've prepared a bunch of cool deals for you. But we won't spoil anything just yet. Subscribe to our social media and keep an eye on the website and forums, because the first piece of news is dropping tomorrow. While you wait for November 29th, there's plenty to keep you occupied. With a recent update, we launched a new section in the shop, the Showcase. In it, you will find deals that are customized specifically for you, based on your needs and level. It also features some nice bonuses, including special cards that will give you free crystals. The amount you get is random, but it's never less than 100. Plus, you might get up to two cards per day, so check back often. And here's an important point. The new showcase is only available in the HTML5 and mobile versions of the game. So if you're still playing on Flash, now might be a good time to move on to the new HTML5 version. The link is in the description. Over the past weeks, we've been talking about the new Viking Thunder Prime skin. But that's just the first of the batch. Now it's time to move on to a new piece of gear. Can you guess what's next? Railgun, one of the most popular turrets in the game. As with Thunder, we'll be adding more detail and tweaking its appearance. The plan is to give it a recoil mechanism and a new shot effect. The great news is that it's already in the works and you'll be able to get your first glimpse of it in an upcoming vlog. So make sure you don't skip any episodes. Since we're on the topic of development news, the increase in modifications we told you about recently is scheduled to happen next week. As promised, we're increasing the number of modifications from 4 to 7. This is meant to smoothen out the transition between modifications to make the game more balanced, especially in the middle ranks. And don't worry, prices will be lowered accordingly, so the cost of getting all the modifications will remain roughly the same. If you want to know all the details, watch Vlog episode 228, where Hazel goes over all the points. In the last episode, we told you about the upcoming release of the Hyperion drone. Since then, we've had more time to test it out, so we've made some tweaks and polished the balance. Now, the cooldown decrease will only affect double damage, double armor and speed boost. Cooldowns from mines and repair kits will remain unaffected. And since we're talking about drones, Hazel is here to tell you about some interesting upcoming changes to their mechanics. Take it away, buddy! First, a few words about Hyperion. Why will such a drone appear in the game? When we worked on supplies and introduced smart cooldowns, we didn't have a tool like drones. The priority was to protect new players from the mechanics of supplies, but there was no simple mechanism for distinguishing between new and old players. We couldn't just turn off smart cooldowns beyond a certain rank. Drones allow you to do many interesting things with supplies, but at the same time they present the player with a clear choice. Do you want to spam supplies? Fine, here is a tool for that and here are its limitations. They are both good choices, especially at the top ranks, where some players have so many supplies um, that they have no place to spend them all. But there is more. Along with the new drones, existing drones in the game will also be redesigned. Three new mechanics will be distributed between drones. The first mechanic will give you extra points for helping out teammates. For example, you play a mechanic drone and several allies are within your drone's area of effect. With the current system, you will simply be repairing them. But with this new feature, you will also receive extra points for each teammate that you repair. This will help support drones to reach their full potential. The second mechanic speeds up the recharge time of supplies when using other supplies. Remember smart cooldowns? Well, this mechanism does the opposite. It only affects one supply type, which is assigned to the drone. For example, the miner drone will reduce the reload time of the mine every time you use any other supply. This mechanic will allow certain drones to be used much more often. The third mechanic consumes several supplies when activating a drone. For example, the lifeguard drone will use up several repair kits each time it saves a player from destruction. This mechanic balances strong drones without reducing their usefulness. Together with the introduction of these mechanics and the advent of Hyperion, the remaining drones will also be updated. Their balance and mechanisms will be changed to work better in the new environment. Esports news The new Sandstorm tournament is about to kick off. 
there are lots of prizes to be won, plus lots of excitement and adrenaline. The Clan Championship is in its first stage. Only half of the participants will qualify for the next one, so every match and every point is important. In this championship, there are no guarantees. None of the teams can afford to let their guard down. Not even the Penguins clan, who have won two major tournaments this year. Or last year's champions, Eternity. So come to the live streams, cheer for your favorites, and let's find out together who's gonna be the champion this year. Everything you need is in the vlog's description. Now, a fresh selection of our favorite YouTuber videos. What have they been up to this week? Let's find out. First, Scheib takes on a bunch of new challenges submitted by his subscribers. Why not throw him a challenge yourself? Next, watch quick as he catches gold boxes in style in matchmaking battles. According to statistics, only one in every three people who watch this video is subscribed to our channel. If you are one of the remaining two, hit like, subscribe, bell. See you in a week. Last time, you had to guess where the ball would fall. The correct answer is M. Here are our winners. And here's the new question. 